Ohio's Republican senator says he plans now to hold up all of President Biden's Justice Department nominees. Senator J.D. Vance says he plans to put a procedural hold on every single vote for the nominees because a grand jury indicted former President Trump for 37 federal crimes. The move could leave several key positions open for the time being. When stopped outside a Senate committee hearing yesterday, Senator Vance said he felt any person nominated by the president to work for the DOJ would be used to attack Biden's opponents. Vance is supporting Donald Trump's 2024 campaign for president. It's unlikely one senator's hold on nominees would completely block confirmations to executive branch positions, but it can dramatically slow down consideration on nominees that would otherwise have been considered really not controversial. Vance's office says the senator will not hold up nominees for the U.S. Marshals Service. Uh, Claire, this is obviously nakedly political here, but it has real implications for the confirmation of judges that are sitting open right now, these seats. Yeah, there's a story that needs to be told here about these folks holding up nominations, whether it's, uh, I think the football coach has tried to hold up all of the military nominations, really putting our country at risk. And this is a good example. Uh, holding up U.S. attorney appointments, all that does is help the drug dealers all that does is help the human traffickers. All that does is help the hardened criminal gangs that operate across state lines in this country. It doesn't do anything for Donald Trump. So the irresponsibility of this is just astounding. And it's happening, by the way. I mean, we, we don't have U.S. attorneys in Missouri. We have a, a number of j vacancies in our judiciary. No appointments because Josh Hawley has basically said, I won't approve of anybody. Um, and so for red states where you have people like J.D. Vance and Josh Hawley and some of the nuts that won't be reasonable, that means that there are these vacancies that are continue to sit there because the Senate has not refused, has refused to move off the process where everybody has to turn in a blue slip. So and this is a big and deal and it's a problem. And Claire, as, as you point out, once again, you have idiots who think they're trying to own the libs where not only are they hurting themselves, but in this case, hurting Americans. This whole uh, th this whole deal about we're going to try to cripple the DOJ, we're going to try to defund the FBI. Drug dealers cheer. Drug dealers celebrate. Uh, drug gangs celebrate. Uh, terrorist organizations, just absolutely, international terrorist organizations, absolutely thrilled. Like, these Republicans that are trying to cripple America's law enforcement, they're not owning the libs. They're just hurting themselves, hurting their district, and hurting Americans. Yeah, it is um, for a, a party that pretends they're all about supporting the police. You know, it's so situational. You know, they don't support the police when they're being attacked by Trump's insurrectionist mob at the Capitol. They don't support the police then. They don't support law enforcement when they say defund the most premier law enforcement organization in the world. Uh, so it's it's really phony. You know, they're phony about wanting to be fiscal conservatives. They're phony about respecting the rule of law and they're phony about supporting the police. Claire McCaskill, thank you so much for coming on this morning. And